All right, ladies and gents, it's been long overdue, but we're heading back to the old mud hole. We'll see how we do. mosquito hook, a little half inflated night crawler, and a little Berkeley uh, orange power rig on there to let it give a little color. On my drop shot right in the morning, got a eighth ounce uh, drop shot sinker there, number eight mosquito hooks, and I'm starting off with the uh, GSF ball heads. I got Columbian Bam Bam on the bottom and the pink and white at the top. Uh, usually I like to go with whites in the morning, uh, usually seem to work better early in the morning then I switch to something darker uh, in the afternoon. So uh, let's see how we work these. All right, cast it out. Make sure we let it sink all the way to the bottom. Wait for that line to go limp. Just work it back real slow, barely moving it, and just bounce the rod tip slightly. And once in a while, I'll do a pause. Just let it sit there for a second. Just light bounces. Especially with these ball head worms on here, they have a lot of action, so you don't have to hardly move the rod tip at all. And you can see how fast I'm reeling. Just about like that, like really, really slow, just barely moving it. As long as I just let it sit there. Keep your line tight. And lots of times the fish will bite right when you pause it. So just keep repeating that process and hopefully we can wake them up. What's that? Nah, I think I'm all right. I'm not massive. Hit that Colombian Bam Bam. Damn, I was doing a tutorial on how to work these. I should have left the camera running. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just shut it off. Yeah.
got that bam bam. Get some out. Junkie bro. Another super light bite. Hit the bam bam again. There you go. They're biting super light. Nah, I'll just wear them out. Yeah. A little bit of a better one. Get some milk. Oh, right on. Oh, that mermaid tail motor oil. Hell yeah. Nice. You got a toad on there? He's holding bottom. Might have a good one on there. Yeah, you got a good bend in the rod. Yeah, looks like you're over. Higher. There you go. Are you falling on your line? Yeah, let's try and bring that one in. Yeah, you got a good fish on there. You're, he's over you. He's over or under you. Go up, go up, go up. I'm under all these guys. Now. Yeah. Yeah, he's out there a little ways. You can't see where the line is. It's already it's wrapped. It's wrapped. Wrapped around it. Yeah. Here, you want to just cut it? No. No? <laughs> All right. No, no, I mean me. Right there, right there. Oh, got on that one. Oh, that's a nice fish. 
It's a bass? It's a big old bass. Oh, I see it. Like a big one. Oh. Yeah, here. That's a big bass. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a tank right there. That's a big one. Oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a four or five pounder right oh there. My god. I just gotta try and unmess all this stuff. Like, yeah. Right on. Can net this one. Hell yeah. You want him in the net? Yeah. Nice. Nice and clean. Well, it's like he choked it too. Right on. Ah, just just a good fighter. Oh, he hit the starburst. Nice solid one. Here, son. Ow, son of a bitch. I'm hooked in my hand, too. How deep did it go? Man? All the way. Oh shit. Yeah. That's why we don't grab uh, fish on the double drop shot with your hand. Good thing I'm taking antibiotics. Are you? Yeah. Push it through. Zip off. Yeah. Ah. Mm. Yeah, can't get it out. Is there a trick where you do fishing line around it? It doesn't, it doesn't hurt at all, so. Well, that's just because you've got yeah. high pain tolerance. Well, no, I mean, as soon as you move it, it's gonna hurt, but oh, sorry. That, that doesn't hurt. Yeah. I wonder if you could do it like twice and then oh, it's stronger, sure. you know what I mean? You got two bits of line in there.
Yeah, you 80 can pound test. Yeah, you could probably just do a couple overhand knots and it won't come loose. Ow. No, I'm kidding. Serious business here. Uh huh. I'm having a heart attack already. Pull, pull, pull it tight. You can pull it tight. Don't be afraid to hurt me. All right, you ready? Yeah. Ah! Yeah, did it hurt? Now I'm fine. No. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Life nice. Safe. Cool. That worked. Yeah. All right. Nice. Let's get some more. <laughs> like right here. <laughs> you need the net? Nah. Yeah. He's not he not huge, he just he's just strong. Yeah. Yeah, looks like I hit the top one too. It's a green and black. Green and black uh, worm. See? There we go, he just hammered that uh, black and uh, green uh, ball head. Get some milk. All right, guys, there you have it. Uh, great day at the old mud hole, and man, it's good to be back. I uh, I really love that place, even though it's in a, just an old uh, mud hole, not much to look at, but uh, I have a lot of fun going there. I've been going there since I was a kid, and uh, uh, fishing's uh, good once you figure it out. But uh, I think at this point, after all the years of fishing there, I'm, I'm really uh, down to saying it's a drop shot lake. I mean, you can catch them on mini jigs, you can catch them on bait and spoons, of course, but... Uh, nothing beats a double drop shot there and, and uh, I don't know why I don't know if it's because there's so much uh, uh, live bait in the water for me to eat all the shad and stuff or or what it is but uh, uh, once I started really using the drop shot there and uh, uh, different speeds of course today was very slow presentation but uh, uh, yeah that's that that has been very consistent you know usually when I catch limits I'm, it's on the drop shot I'll get maybe one or two on on bait sometimes uh, or one or two on a mini jig, but the bulk of my fish are always drop shot. Uh, usually, uh, consistently I'll get, you know, like a couple in the morning. This time I got some more in the morning than I normally do. I think I had like three before noon. Uh, but the bulk of my fish every time is about one o'clock to four o'clock. Uh, and I see a lot of, a lot of folks leaving at, at about lunchtime because I think the bite's slow and it's dead. Uh, uh, lunchtime they always seem to take a break. Um, stick it out. Stay in the afternoon. The afternoon bite is way better. I think I caught two or three after everyone else left. Uh, I stayed till the very end and I was just fishing by myself and it had been dead for a good hour or so and then it picked up right at the end. So uh, so, so never, uh, you know, at least try. I know we all have busy lives but uh, try to stay to the end. Uh, the afternoon, every lake I go to it seems is, is better than the, than the morning. Um, but you saw uh, uh, I got that uh, hook stuck in my hand. <laughs> Uh, first time in 40 years of fishing that's ever happened to me. I've been stuck by hooks, but never had one where it went in past the barb like that. And uh, you can see I was trying to get it out with pliers. Um, it wouldn't come out. And it's just a mosquito hook. Uh, and then I tried to push it through, but the hook was so small it wouldn't fit through the web of my hand. So uh, we went online uh, on YouTube and, and found some videos and uh, tied the line to it, straightened it out, and just yanked it out. And uh, it wasn't too bad. Obviously, the small hooks and do a lot of damage to my hand and uh, web of my hand. There's no tendons right there, so so I was okay. But uh, and was able to keep fishing. But uh, uh, word of the wise on that double drop shot. Some people wonder why I use those uh, those grippers that grip the fish's mouth. 
uh, that's that's why. <laughs> Sometimes I still grab them by hand, and usually I'm okay, but this one time I wasn't. So, word of the wise, uh, be very careful when you're doing that kind of thing. Um, and then you saw on there, uh, uh, Mike, uh, Trout Made Mike did real good with his made baits. He had his, a, a whole bunch of new colors. Uh, he had uh, Ladybug, Scud, and Beetle, and Motor Oil, and he caught on all of them. Uh, really, really cool to see that. Um, make sure you go either check out his Patreon or uh, go on TroutMade.com uh, and uh, uh, you can get the baits there and see, see what they're all about. But, but man, every time I go out with him, his, his baits are doing well. And then, uh, I, of course, I did really well on the Golden State stuff. Uh, uh, if you want to get yours, I got the website right here. Uh, when you check out, make sure you put in uh, code CSPANKER. And you get 10% off. So just write C Spanker at the checkout portion, and uh, you get 10% off your purchase all the time. So make sure you check that out. So uh, until next time, uh, always remember to like and subscribe. Leave me lots of questions and comments. I love answering them. Uh, hit me up on Instagram too. You can you can message me on there. Uh, I try to pay uh, close attention. If I don't get to it right away, I usually get back to you in a day or two. And I really pride myself on answering everybody's questions, uh, especially if you got uh, fishing questions. <laughs> uh, so until uh, until next time, uh, tight lines.